Ryan Knows Tech here today with techinform.us and today we're going to be looking at Photoshop. Uh, some adjustment layers, things you can do to change colors, uh, pretty much anything but really we're going to look at colors with adjustment layers in Photoshop. We'll be using Adobe Photoshop CS5 Extended for the purpose of this. Um, it should work on CS3 and 4 and obviously 5. So we're going to start by just making a new document. We'll make an 8x10 on 150 dpi, not like it matters, but we will. Then we're going to go ahead and open, we'll use one of my wallpapers here. How about something from scenery, something with color. The uh, San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. We actually didn't need that new document, so just go ahead and close that since it's t completely the wrong resolution. Here's our file. It's, I believe, 1920 by 1080, so I can make it a little bit bigger here so you guys can see it. By the way, I'm not recording myself today because I need a smaller video file because I'm running out of time to upload this, I'll be honest with you. So here it is. Let's unlock that layer over here on the right. Double click to unlock. Give it a name, doesn't matter. Layer zero is okay. All right, go up to layer in the top, new adjustment layer, and let's take a look at um, the black and white adjustment layer. So click on that, and you can name that whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it default, black and white one. And then if you check that box underneath it, it'll make only the selected layer you were on when you just did this new adjustment layer um, have the effect that the adjustment layer is going to have. If you don't do that, then any layer underneath the adjustment layer will follow that um, effect which you might want and which you might not want if you only want to adjust one element within your, your design. So we're just going to check this for now in case we put anything else in. 100% opacity, meaning it's going to 100% affect the whole thing. If you wanted it to maybe only be half there and not have a you know night or day effect, then you could obviously change that opacity. And then there's different modes here. I recommend normal because anything else is just going to look odd and you should be familiar with it if you're not going to do normal. So we'll click OK and there it is. All it did was change that from black to white. So you can turn that layer on and off like that. Bring your color back in. Uh, you can do more adjustments with this stuff if you wanted to. Your, uh, your red colors, there is red and black. Black is all the colors. Your yellows are still here. You can adjust that. I mean, look at the foreground change as the yellows adjusted. And then our greens are really going to change some of the water there, a little bit into the foreground. Cayennes, mostly in the sky. Blues, a lot more in the sky. And then magenta is going to have a pretty big effect on our bridge since that was originally red. Automatic, it'll adjust it to where it thinks it looks good in black and white. That's not bad. We'll leave it like that. So that would be a black and white adjustment layer. Of course, as I said before, we can preview it with, with and without it, and then click the delete key, it eliminates that new layer. So back up to layer, new adjustment layer, hue slash saturation. Go ahead and check that box again, 100% opacity. And uh, now we're going to use this adjustments thing that just popped up. And we can adjust our hue, and that's going to set off all of our colors. Everything is going to be altered in the same respect. Now this is kind of hard to see when you have something with so many different colors in it. So we're just going to close that, close that, and we'll open up a wallpaper that has fewer colors in it. For example, Venice Beach palm trees here. We'll do the same thing. Make sure you unlock that layer first. Layer, new adjustment layer, and then hue slash saturation. Check the box, OK. And then saturation, we can just drag that over to purple and really make the whole thing um, everything that was originally that kind of light purplish blue, we can make it a, a deeper purple into the pink zone, reds there, orange, brown, bring it over to green. And that's really awesome if you want to do some editing like that. Notice the black stay black, but just it's really like changing the sky. You can play God here for a little bit. Saturation, I think that's pretty straightforward. It doesn't do a whole lot on the lower scale there, but the uh, more you bring it up, the stronger that color is going to be. And then your lightness. That's pretty self-explanatory as well. Really great editing here, much better than Aperture or iPhoto. And then just like before, we could drag that layer down here, which is just going to have no effect because there's nothing below it. Drag it back up, and then it will affect what's below it. Turn it off, turn it on, get rid of it. So those are two of the layers here. I'm not really familiar with a whole bunch of the other ones, but let's take a look at one more. How about a Vibrance one here? Check the box, OK. And it looks like now we have two sliders for vibrance and saturation. Bring it down a little bit, and it really looks like it's adjusting the strength of the color there in the sky. Notice the blacks stay the same. 
Boy, I hate it when people have their phones go off in their videos. Thanks, Colt. All right, saturation. We can drag that down. And that's going to completely adjust. Well, guess what, guys? How saturated our colors are. And that actually looks really cool, having the sunset pop like that and the skies that awesome blue. So lots and lots of effects you can do here. And keep in mind, you can do this with a tiny little element. For example, if we just had, I don't even know if I can find anything on the spot that would uh, fit for that. But if you go back here, how about into, you should go back into wallpapers and technology, PC, they're usually solo colors. All right, there's one. Um, these HP wallpapers, or how about we do this Lenovo wallpaper that came with my Lenovo G550 a while ago. New adjustment layers, hue slash saturation, and we can change that green to what? How about, about blue? Our leaf is now blue. The white is white, guys. Isn't that awesome? Now we have like an orange leaf for color for a fall, and now it's just got awful. So you can really make it anything you want in here. Um, colorize. I guess that does some sort of other effect? Yeah, I don't really know. I'll be honest with you. But lots of cool stuff. It's fun to play with, and if you don't like it, you can just close this here. Go over and just get rid of your layer, and it's back to normal. So just great editing with Photoshop here. I really recommend Photoshop. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I really do appreciate it. Our website's techinform.us. My Twitter, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And then uh, in just about 39 minutes, I'll be hosting the web show from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern time on ustream.tv slash user. Links down below. Slash user slash tech inform us. See you guys there or in Wednesday's video. Bye-bye.